Get ready to become a fan of Magnus Carlsen if you aren't one already, as you witness an incredibly amazing game unfold. In this intriguing matchup, we have Grandmaster Luis Supi from Brazil in command of the White Pieces, facing off against none other than the reigning world chess champion himself, Magnus Carlsen, in his role as Black. <laughs> The game kicks off with Supi's move e4, prompting Magnus to opt for the Scandinavian defense. Trading moves ensue, and while many players would target the queen at this point, Supi takes a different route by developing his other knight. Seizing the initiative, Magnus responds with a bishop attack, compelling Supi to reinforce his position while also setting the stage for queenside castling. Meanwhile, Magnus skillfully develops one of his knights, strategically setting the stage for kingside castling. White persists in advancing their pieces, launching an attack on Magnus' queen. While the typical response might be queen to d6, the presence of the active bishop prompts Magnus to opt for a more defensive approach by retreating the queen to d7. After a phase of relatively quiet pawn play, the action intensifies as White's pawn structure comes to life. The move h3 emerges, targeting the black bishop. A series of exchanges follows, culminating in black's queenside castling and white's kingside castling. With both kings situated on opposite wings in this opposite side castle scenario, a confrontational dynamic takes hold. The game heats up as both sides vie to advance their pawns and expose the opponent's king for an attack. In a calculated maneuver, Magnus directs his attention to Supi's bishop, exploiting its strategic position along a potent diagonal targeting the white king. Undeterred, Supi embarks on a bold pawn march, setting the stage for an engaging clash. The stage is set, and the battle for dominance continues to unfold. Shifting his king to a safer position, Supi secures another pawn from potential threats. White's knight makes a daring leap to a precarious square, after knight capturing the bishop. This initiates a sequence of exchanges, the knight falls to the prowess of Magnus' queen, while Magnus continues his assault by targeting the second knight. Undeterred by these exchanges, Supi boldly embraces a gambit mindset. His response reveals his intention to open up a crucial file, intensifying the pressure on Magnus' king. Bolstering his position, Supi reinforces his defense with the move c4. Magnus ups to forego the gambit, and instead makes the strategic choice of playing e5, effectively seizing control of the center, and granting his bishop an expansive diagonal. In a cunning maneuver, Supi counters with d4, challenging Magnus' pawn and setting the stage for his bishop to infiltrate with a potential attack on the king. Magnus decides to capture the pawn, unwittingly exposing his king to potential threats from multiple angles. The bishop, queen, and knight all converge their sights on this vulnerable monarch. Sensing the danger posed by the menacing knight, Magnus takes decisive action to eliminate the threat. However, Supi's pawn captures in response, unleashing the full potential of his rook on the a-file. In an attempt to alleviate the pressure and break free from the pin, Magnus extends a bishop exchange. Supi, however, strategically declines the offer opting for the shrewd move rook to a2. This move serves a dual purpose, preparing to double up his rooks and orchestrating an impending attack on Magnus' exposed king. With a keen awareness of the impending threat, Magnus strategically maneuvers his queen to create an escape route for his king. Simultaneously, he mounts an attack on the white bishop, exerting pressure on the position. White responds by doubling up his rooks, aligning them menacingly. As anticipated, Magnus King embarks on a path to safety. However, at this critical juncture, an awe-inspiring move unveils itself a move that exemplifies the profound elegance of chess. Can you discern this move that holds the key to the position's beauty? If you've unraveled this exquisite sequence, show your appreciation by hitting the thumbs up button. Indeed, Supi uncovers this remarkable move and executes a breathtaking queen sacrifice, a testament to the tactical depth of the game. Yet, within this breathtaking display, there exists another layer of beauty Magnus Carlsen's reaction. Witness firsthand the awe, 
respect, and appreciation that one grandmaster holds for the genius of another. Ooh, that is dirty. Wow, that is awesome. Really awesome. Really awesome. Okay, there's nothing. There's nothing I can do, right? It's just mate. Wow. Okay, I resign. That's the epitome of true sportsmanship. The sheer display of unfiltered emotions and a profound affection for chess is truly captivating. This is precisely why my admiration for Magnus Carlsen knows no bounds. Now, shifting our focus back to the unfolding game, a relentless threat of checkmate looms large as these cunningly positioned rooks continue their strategic assault. With the queen guarding the potential escape route, black is left with no choice but to capture it. The ensuing sequence unfolds with pawn takes, and white once again asserts control over the crucial escape squares. The gravity of the situation becomes evident, the path to halt the imminent checkmate is inexorably blocked. In light of this dire predicament, Magnus Carlsen takes the honorable decision to resign on move 18. The symphony of moves reaches its crescendo, and the game concludes with a resounding testament to the complexities and grandeur of chess. Now, it's time for a puzzle. In the given position, it's white's turn, and you need to find the best move for white. Share your answers in the comments, and let's see how many of you can solve it correctly. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated with future videos. Take a moment to check out the other videos appearing on your screen right now. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care and peace.